Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Courageous Life Summit. I am welcoming Carrie Ann Munstead today. Yeah, you did I right. said that right. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. I usually check before. No, it's okay. Um, Carrie Ann, oh, be still my heart, has a special place in my heart today. As many of you have asked about um, my profile, my profile photos and the photos on my website, and Carrie Ann is my photographer. So you're lucky I'm sharing her with you today. <laughs> so let me read you her bio. I'm an artist and a nurturer, fiercely motivated by using my talents to make women feel confident, empowered, and whole. Today, I am profoundly confident, empowered, and whole, and so much more. I feel like you couldn't find the words to like, <laughs> right? <laughs> you can't find the words to say how whole I am, but I didn't always feel that way. Allow me to share a little bit of my story. Welcome, Carrie Ann. Thank you so much for having me, Marty. So go ahead, tell us about yourself. <laughs> Gosh, uh, there's so much more, obviously. <laughs> I know I've, I've watched a couple of the other videos and there's just so much to share and so little time to do it in. Um, gosh, I, I was... Um, oh, gosh, where do you even start? Yeah, I was a perfectionist my whole life. And uh, I think I heard that someone saying that earlier today. And it just led me down a path of saying yes to all sorts of things that didn't sit well with me, didn't feel right for me. And um, it led me into a marriage that was not the right fit for me, it led me to a divorce. Um, it led me to a job that I was at for, gosh, almost two decades that just didn't satisfy my soul. Mm -hmm. And I stayed in those things because I thought that they were the right things for me to do. I thought that I should be doing those things, should, ah, oh, that word. Um, and so um, after I got divorced, I started to get a counselor and it just led me to a lot of insight into who I am. And after six years, <laughs> it took me a long time to get there, but I did. And um, I'm in a great marriage now. Um, I left that corporate job January of 2018 to focus on my photography business full time. Um, I am just open to so many things and so much energy from the universe, which led me to be able to have my baby that I just had two months ago. Yeah. Um, and it just, I am enjoying and loving the life that I am in now. And it's just such an exciting place to be as to where I was at one time in my life. Oh, that's so cool. You can tell you just radiate it. Absolutely. Oh, thank you. I don't know if it's actually the artist in you or the new mom but you look fantastic for somebody with a two-month-old well he sleeps a lot so I, i'm getting oh. some sleep so i'm actually really lucky i should knock on wood when you i say it. something like that that's the universe's way into tricking you into having another that's right my... right <laughs> oh they're so good they're good babies <laughs> and then number two comes along you're like what right. have i done no <laughs> kidding it's what my mom says <laughs> that's exactly right i'm here to tell you so how does photography fit into the Courage Summit? Sure. So we receive messages all the time in the media, right? That we're not thin enough. We're not young enough. We're not pretty enough. We're not successful enough. We're not enough, enough, right? Everything enough, right? Like we all get those messages. And what happens is that when we hear these things, so many times we start to believe them. We start to focus on what we perceive as our flaws. We start to really focus on that we think we have too big of a nose or, you know, our arms are too big, or our legs are too big and all this stuff. And we end up turning away from the camera. So we go through decades of our lives without existing in photos. We are on the other side of the camera and we're taking pictures of our spouses and our kids, and our dogs, <laughs> and those are good things to take pictures of, but where are you in your pictures? Yeah. Like, when your kids go back to look for pictures of you, what are they gonna find? They're, they're not gonna find you in pictures because you shied away from that camera because of these messages that you heard. So, I totally understand that being in front of the camera is a very vulnerable place to be in. I've been in it before, and I'm going to share more of that story in a little bit here. Um, and it takes courage to be photographed. It takes courage to talk back to those voices that have been telling you that you're not enough, 
and to say, you know what, I am enough. Stop this. Stop saying this. I am enough. I deserve to be in photos. It takes courage to invest in ourselves to say, I'm going to actually pay someone to take pictures of me. You know, we've gone for so long with hating how we looked in pictures and then to paying someone to do it. It takes courage to invest in yourself and it takes courage to be afraid of something and still show up. So I think that photography and courage go hand in hand um, and just women's um, need to exist in photos again is such a courageous thing when they actually take that step to do that. Very true. Yeah. Very true. Yeah. I know I don't have many pictures of my mother when I, and my grandmother too, when she passed away, I got her photographs. There's not a lot of pictures of her in mm. those photos, not right. unless it was a staged photo of an entire family and she's always in the back. Right, exactly. So, she, so we'll, we'll go in those because we're hiding. We're hiding yeah. behind other people. But to be out in front and center and to say, this is who I am at this time in my life and I just put it all out there, we don't do that for ourselves. And we don't do that for our kids so yeah. that they'll have those pictures of us and our grandkids and future generations for them to see who their grandma was, who their, you know, who their great grandma was. Yeah. So it's my job to get out there and help women do that for themselves and for future generations. So was your photography always about that or was it, did it evolve? It evolved for sure. Um, I started out doing what lots of photographers do. I was building my business on the side. And so I was going out to the park and taking pictures of families at the park and that kind of stuff. And, and there is space in this world for that. But I just knew in my soul that that wasn't what I wanted to do. So um, about four years ago, I signed up to take a workshop with um, uh, a photographer who is now my mentor um, and she photographed women. And so I took her workshop and another option during her workshop was to stay an extra day and be photographed. Mm. And holy cow, all those anxieties uh, <laughs> that we'll talk about, you know, more in, in a few minutes here, all those anxieties came up, right? Like, oh my gosh, I know I need to do this. I know I need to do this for myself. I need, I need to do this for my business, but I'm scared. Um, I'm too fat. I don't have the right clothes. I'm too old. No one's going to want to photograph me. All these anxieties started showing up, but you know what? I did the courageous act and I hit that button to say, book me. And I did it anyway, because I knew that I needed it. Right. So, um, I went into that photo session and I was a bundle of nerves that day. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow, was I a bundle of nerves. And not only was there one photographer, but there were like 10 photographers taking pictures of a bunch of a bunch of people. So I was like panicking that no one was going to want to photograph me, right? <laughs> that I was going to be the only one who was like too fat and no one wanted to photograph. And so like I had bought all these spanks and all sorts of stuff to like suck it in. <laughs> to make myself look smaller, right? Right. Um, to literally make myself smaller. And when I got there that day, you know, I started off with a lot of anxiety and then I went into hair and makeup and really started boosting my confidence. I'm like, dang, I look good, you know? So it <laughs> kind of like started really like boosting me up. And then by the time my photo shoot came around, I had decided that I was just gonna trust the process. Like I was just going to trust that these people could do, you know, do what they have done for other women. I was going to trust the process. I threw those spanks out. I didn't even wear them. I was like, forget that. Like if I've got some lumps and bumps here and there, who cares? It's how I am. Plus a little Photoshop never hurts. So, <laughs> you know, but, but it was just like, this is just who I am and I'm going to show up who I am. And that was the greatest experience. One of the greatest experience of my life. It changed the trajectory of my life because, um, when I saw those photographs of myself for the first time and I looked at this collection of images where like in every single picture, it was me looking back at me and not this me. Like I wasn't focusing on all the things on the outside. Like I saw who Carrie is inside and the many facets of me. I saw the, 
more the funny and happy side of me. I saw the quieter side of me. Um, I saw all these different sides of the real Carrie looking back at me and it changed my life forever. And I knew that that's what I wanted all women. I'm based out of Arizona, but not just Arizona women. I want all women to experience that. Um, it is oh. one of the greatest feelings that I've ever had. And I know what a transformation it can make. It's, it's transformed my life. I got on this trajectory of wanting to photograph women and that's what I'm doing now. Led me to leave my corporate job and focus on photography full time, just helping women have more confidence in themselves through portrait photography. Um, so that is kind of how my photography has evolved because of that experience. Oh, wow. Well, I can definitely attest to that. So do you want me to tell my story? Yes, I would love for you to tell your story. <laughs> well, I want, to I want to start off telling your story. Okay, you go. So as Marty has mentioned, she, has, she was a client of mine a few months ago. And um, I'm going to tell a little bit about the email that I got too. That, is that okay? Yeah, that's so, fine. I got an email late on a Sunday night and it said, help. <laughs> I'm, paraphr I'm paraphrasing a little bit, but for the most part, it said help. It said, I need pictures for my website and I hate how I look in pictures. I have almost no pictures of myself and it stopped me dead in my tracks and I can't move forward with this until I get some pictures of me. Can you help me? And, you know, I, I did something that I don't normally do. I actually um, took a video, did a video chat yeah. of myself responding to you rather than email because like you're just, your story just resonated so much with me and it, it resonates excuse me, with so many people because so many women just hate how they look in pictures and don't have pictures of themselves on their business websites even, even though they're the face of their business. They're That's not true. I hadn't thought of that. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they use a logo or they use other pictures, stock photos, but they're not pic using pictures of themselves, right? So I recorded a, a message back to you and I just said, you know what? I have been there. I've got you. I can absolutely help you with that. And then you know, then we went from there and then you showed up on the day of, and I know you were nervous and you brought your daughter for moral support. And that was <laughs> wonderful also. Um, but I'm going to take it, I'm going to turn it over oh, to you yeah. now. So, so you can tell your experience about when you saw those pictures. <laughs> so, but there's a part, so we had scheduled a time and then I was yes. nervous, nervous, nervous. I can't tell you how many times I went shopping and then I returned things. No, My daughter I didn't went, this. Oh, my daughter went with me and she's like, mom, don't try new stuff and new colors. You'll feel uncomfortable. Just get, you know, you have stuff that you, and I was a wreck. And then you got oh, sick. I know. And so here's where my negative lizard brain goes, right? She saw me online and decided she wasn't up to the task of photographing oh, me. So God. she canceled on me. I literally told myself that. And I was crushed. I was absolutely crushed. And um, that's not it at all, by the way. <laughs> but, but isn't it crazy what these things, what these negative messages yes. can tell us, right? Yes, absolutely. I reached out to other people, some friends. Could you do shot? I was like, because I, I mean, I had this web designer. I was on a deadline and I was like pushed it to the last minute. And then, um, then you came back. I said to you, I will wait. I, I will wait. I, I figured I will put in a, silhouette of somebody on my website i connected with carrie ann this this absolutely she's the one for me i'm gonna wait yeah. and we waited and my web designer said i'll wait she's like yeah. i see too many people completely launch out of themselves once they get a good photographer you think you found the one for you she's like i'll wait so it was fantastic and then the day we went and it went by so quickly um, I didn't recognize myself, recognize myself after the makeup artist with, I was like, Whoa, <laughs> oh, I had taken a picture that morning in my own living room. And I mean, it's amazing what a little lighting, a little Photoshopping and just feeling yeah. good in your own skin for the moment yes. makes a difference in the yes. pictures. That's, that's what it mostly is. It's just about bringing out that like the happiness and what that, that all that love and energy that's radiating inside of you and just bringing that out through your expression, through your eyes. And that's what people gravitate to. That's what you see in your pictures. Yeah, it was fun. 
Like, you know, yes. I was being myself. I wasn't posing, even though I, I am posing, but it didn't, it didn't feel like it. You right. know, it felt like, this is going to sound corny. It felt like I was making love to the camera. <laughs> it felt like I was seducing the camera it, it, without knowing it. Like it was yeah. just happening. Like you were talking yeah. me into it. Right. And, right. Yeah, it was great. And then when I got the photos, my daughter was in the other room and I just yelled expletive after expletive. And he was like, what's wrong? What's wrong? She came running in. I was like, they look fantastic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. And it just... And, and how does that feel to you now, Marty, to be able to use your pictures? Like you've been doing this since then, you've been doing this web, you've done your website, you've, you've put your picture out there for the summit. How does it feel to have great pictures that you can put out um, as the face of your business? It, it takes away that angst of introducing yourself to people, right? I mean, it really does because the best me is put forward. Like it, I, I, I really think it does. I think so many people came back and they wasn't just the comments that the, it's a nice photograph. It was, that really shows your personality. That really yes. shows your warmth. That really shows your caring. That really yes. shows that you mean business. Yes. Like it, it wasn't just the photo. It was what it conveyed. Exactly. That was and that's huge. what I always say too. I think the photo is cherry on top. I think that what we did is br we brought out all that warmth and, um, confidence and we just we brought out something that's really inviting and we just brought that out of you and and just the picture is is the cherry on top because you'll walk away with all those feelings now forever and the picture is wonderful but those those that confidence that you have instilled in you now because of that shoot that carries with you in other areas of your life yeah definitely right definitely yeah. it was yeah. huge i've recommended yeah. you to everybody <laughs> oh thank you i appreciate that so let's talk about um, the, the free offer that you have for our viewers. Sure, absolutely. So if you go to my website, um, I have, um, it's not really a guide, but it's a, it's a guide sort of. It's, to, it's five ways how beauty portraits can transform your life. And um, it shows real clients in, um, in real ways that beauty portraits have really enhanced their life in one way or another. And so um, we'll put a link into the email that goes out. And, um, and so go and download that and see some of the ways. These are just five ways. I mean, there are numerous more ways that, it, that, will, that these portraits will transform your life. But these are five of the ways that some of my clients have, um, have, have expressed to me. Great, great, fantastic. And then on your website, there's a whole gallery of people, of pictures, headshots, of yeah. professionals, all kinds of women. I love the, yeah. this is what I'm thinking about, the generational, the multi-generational picture. It's That's, one of my favorite things to do. Grandmas and moms and daughters. And it's just, it makes my heart explode when I see generations come together. I, I, I photographed a four generation photo. The, the great grandma had just turned a hundred years old. <gasps> and so it was the great grandma, the grandma, the mom and the daughter. And not two months after that photo shoot, great grandma passed away. So oh. what an amazing legacy to pass on and what amazing photographs that the, those family members have to remember great grandma at that particular time in her life too. So Ah, you saw my heart. I, that's, those are my favorites. <laughs> oh, that's so yeah. great. Yes. That's so great. So if anybody's sitting at home watching this summit or listening yeah. to this summit and they, you know, I, I think I saw one on your Facebook page the other day where the lady said, I, I need to lose 40 pounds before I call you. Yeah. Like what, what they're sitting, listening to all those limiting beliefs. What would you tell them to do to their next steps to move forward, to get out of that negativity? Absolutely. Um, you know, here's the thing, the negativity is going to be there, right? Like Elizabeth Gilbert in Big Magic, she said something along the lines of, you know what, you're going to go on this car ride with fear in the car with you. Just do one thing. Don't let fear be the driver. Put fear in the back seat and you make sure that you're driving that car. So fear is going to go with you on your journey, no matter what. Fear is always going to be there with those little words in your head. But you know what? When fear is in the backseat, you can tell fear to shut up. You can, turn <laughs> up. you can turn up the radio so you kind of drown out fear, right? So the negativity, the fear, that's going to be with you all the time, no matter what. So the one thing to do is to just move forward with fear 
just to take that step, just to say yes, just to turn down that fear enough so that you can just move into something. And it can be a small something, but just take a step forward with fear as your passenger, but in the back seat every single day. And the more and more you do that, the more and more fear and negativity will just, you know, mosey into probably the trunk rather than the back. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Well, thank you, Carrie. It was wonderful, absolutely wonderful to talk to you today. Thank you so much. It's been wonderful to talk to you too. Thanks, Marty.